Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. This is a Dan Wesson Model 715 357 Magnum revolver with a four inch barrel. <laughs> That's actually an air gun replica from ASG, also known as Action Sport Games. This particular model is designed for shooting 177 lead pellets, but it turns out that it's also a really good air gun for shooting darts. First of all, it's surprisingly accurate. No, it's not gonna be as accurate with darts as it is with lead pellets that engage the rifling in the barrel, but if you apply good fundamentals of shooting when you pull the trigger, you're gonna get surprisingly good groups downrange. But the feature that makes this such a great dart gun is the fact that you can load six darts at a time. Ordinarily, even if you have a pellet gun that has a magazine that holds more than one pellet, you're still left feeding one dart at a time into the chamber. Well, since each cartridge in this cylinder is its own chamber, the 715 turns out to be one of the few repeating air gun dart guns on the market today. ASG probably had none of this in mind when they designed it, but they put a lot of attention into authentic looks and function. The fact that it's such a great dart gun is just a bonus. But that bonus, the fact that it's such a great dart gun, is why the Dan Wesson 715 is what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. I know what you're wondering, because I wondered too. Would it stick if you got hit with one of these? Well, first of all, that would mean that you're either stupid for shooting yourself or you need to get better friends. I tried to get some raw pork with, with some pork skin on it because that's a lot closer to human skin than chicken skin, but I couldn't get anything like that in time for this video. So a split chicken breast is going to have to do. I got a fresh CO2 cartridge loaded up. Let's see what stupid looks like on this chicken breast so you're not tempted to find out on yourself or your friends. I'm intentionally at point blank range because I want to see how bad this can get. Oh man, that's bad news. That went all the way in. Oh, <laughs> ouch. Oh my gosh. I'd say yes, this would stick in you. If you accidentally shot yourself, or if a friend shot you with it, don't do it. Not even funny. Wow. Okay. That is insane. Oh my gosh. It went all the way through, even all the way through bone right there, and was sticking in the wood. Do not mess around with these darts. That would not be funny. Look, look at the thickness of muscle that that went through. Holy cow, that is pretty serious. I was actually not expecting that at all. All right, check this out. Look at that. That is crazy. Wow. Holy cow. Man, these darts are nasty now. <laughs> That's for sure. Revolver mag dump time. <laughs> yeah, pulled a little bit to the right. That was me. That was me pulling the trigger over like this to try to get it going fast and double action. I'm going to do that again. That form error actually happens with center fire revolvers when people shoot them fast double action. And it's pretty cool that this revealed that in my own form. Let's see if I can erase that. Uh, not too bad. I still pulled that first one over to the right. One more time. There we go. <laughs> and uh, that's an impressive group. I like it. That's really cool. That's real training right there. Real deal training. I had one bounce back that time. Wonder if that showed up on camera. Getting these off the dartboard is just a matter of using some needle nose pliers and gently grabbing them. These darts seem to hold up to it just fine. Where I pro kids. 
It just isn't an afternoon of fun with a dart gun without popping a rack of balloons. What? Oh no! There we go. Oh, I think I'm low on CO2. Yeah, these aren't going anywhere. <laughs> They're not even sticking. All right, I gotta reload the CO2. I'll tell you, it did pretty well until it was almost all the way out of gas. This should do better now. Fresh CO2 cartridge. There we go. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Oh, missed. I think that was all six. Reload. What? Oh, come on. Ah, <laughs> I'm shooting all around that balloon. There we go. Come on. There. Ooh, this is a small one. Oh! <laughs> right underneath it. How did that not pop one of them? Oh! Oh, this thing is bulletproof, or dart proof, I mean. There. Woohoo! Yeah! I was on a roll there. Four more. I don't even know where that one hit. I think that hit the tree. What? That sounded like a squib. Oh, I know where it hit. It hit in the, the tree that's stuck in the bark. There. Two more. Tell you what, I've been using the same six starts for a couple of days of playing around with this now. And they're holding up pretty well. They started out early on blowing out some fuzz but I think they've kind of settled in and they're shooting great still. Yeah, maybe not. There, one more. What? Shot under it, oh, and that's gone forever. Whoa, almost lost that dart too. I'm gonna aim high. Like the army. Oh, no, that's the Air Force. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, I'm out. Darn it. All right, I lost one dart. I almost lost two more. I'm going to go with these five shots and see where I get. There we go. That was crazy fun. That actually took about 20 minutes to set up that whole board. But that was a lot of fun. You gotta do that. Ergon Depot sent me the Essentials Dart Combo to make this video, which includes the revolver, this dart board, 25 CO2 cartridges, and 20 darts. Combos are available for the four inch 715 shown here, as well as the two and a half inch and six inch replicas. Any of this is available individually as well, and you can even buy paper targets with the same scoring as the dartboards if you want. I've got a link in the video description with more information on all of that. The first thing you'll notice picking up this air pistol is that it feels like a centerfire revolver. I don't know what metals are used for this reproduction, but it is all metal except for the grips, and that gives it a very realistic heft. This comes in at 2.3 pounds, whereas a real four inch 715 comes in only half a pound heavier. 
The reproduction is instantly recognizable as a Dan Wesson 715. Even though as an air gun, the guts are different, all cosmetic hues match the original with the exception of this under barrel rail. Yes, you can mount lights and lasers here, but its primary function is for mounting an optional optic rail that allows you to mount a red dot or a scope on top. All basic functions also match the original, starting with the trademark crane mounted cylinder latch. You load and fire this air gun just like the real thing. The cylinder rotates clockwise with a cylinder stop rising as the hammer goes back right in there. And that's what ensures the proper alignment between the cylinder and the barrel when the pistol is fired. Both the double action and single action trigger pulls feel very similar to those on an actual Model 715, greatly adding to its realism. The sights are also fully adjustable for windage and elevation, just like on the real thing. Although they came out of the box putting me almost right on the bullseye straight from the factory. ASG also includes a speed loader, but you're not going to get much use out of it if you don't buy additional cartridges. Since I only have the six that this gun came with, this just sits in the box. In short, yes, this is fun to use just as an air gun, but attention to detail in its reproduction makes it a valid training tool for those wanting to practice skills that will carry over to shooting centerfire revolvers. Of course, this is an air gun and not a centerfire revolver, so there are a few big differences in loading. First, the cases hold the projectile and nothing more. They're shaped like a fully loaded cartridge to fill the full length of the cylinder but you actually put the projectile in the back where the primer would be and not in the front where the bullet would be. From the factory, the shells have polymer bushings to hold standard 177 lead pellets in place. I found that for shooting darts though, it's best to remove the bushings altogether. You can just take an Allen key and they come right out, just like that but you want to keep them in a safe place though because you'll need them to shoot pellets if you ever decide to do that again in the future. Darts like these have been available for decades. I shot darts just like these out of a pistol I had back in the early 80s. While the 715, I think by happenstance, is one of the best dart guns on the market today, they will work in most 177 pellet guns, though you do need to realize that the higher the velocity you shoot these, the more damage you're going to do to the dartboard or anything else you use as a target, and the less likely you'll be able to pull them out of whatever you manage to stick them into. The tips will also bend if you hit something hard enough with enough velocity. You can certainly load the cartridges with them removed from the cylinder, but it's not really necessary. Loading them while in the cylinder is actually a lot easier, I've found. When you load the darts, you have to make sure that the tail is flush with the back of the cartridge, Otherwise, the tail will bind in the cylinder as you try to get it to rotate. I did find a little trick in loading these that's going to save you a headache. One of the things that can happen if you just drop these in is that they can actually shake down into the cartridge and they could even shake down far enough that they stick out the front and then the cylinder won't rotate. Even if it doesn't bind the cylinder, having your darts at different places inside of those cartridges when you pull the trigger means you're going to get inconsistencies downrange. The fix for both issues is actually really simple. You just take the back of the dart and tap it on something hard, doesn't matter what it is, until you get it to flare out just like that. And now when you drop the dart in, that flared tail helps to hold it in place. You still want to tap it to make sure that it's flush with the back of the cartridge. But once you do that, it's going to stay in place. It's not going to drop down farther into the cylinder. That's a handier trick than you might realize if you don't try it without doing that first. There you go. Now they're all even. None of them are going to drop down and bind up the cylinder. The cylinder itself is fully loaded. The revolver is powered by a single 12 gram CO2 cartridge. It's good for about 90 shots, according to literature. That means you can load this full of darts 15 times before you have to change out the CO2. I've been having too much fun to keep precise count myself, but it's gotta be close to that. The CO2 chamber is accessed by popping off the left grip panel, just like that. 
you can see right there, that's where the CO2 cartridge goes. All you're gonna do is just pop that in place and the grip panel actually has captured, which is really nice, the Allen key you need to tighten the plug here. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get this snug and once you get that snug, the next turn you're gonna puncture it. So you wanna make sure you, you can turn really far and fast with one quick twist. <laughs> there. And you should hear a little puff, but if you do it fast enough, you get it all the way locked down and seated, you're not gonna lose a lot of CO2 in loading this up. And now you see there's a tab right there that goes in that slot and that holds everything in place and now it's all loaded up. Unlike the actual 715 from Dan Wisson, this air gun actually has a safety. You can see the fire and safe markings there. That's in safe, that's in fire. The reason this makes a whole lot of sense is even after you unload the chambers of the cylinder, this can still fire because this is where the power is. It's not contained in gunpowder in the cartridges. And just for safety, because you might end up with something plugging the barrel that can become a projectile or whatever. This is actually a nice extra feature to have. Although I would say that when you pick this up and you start to use it, you're probably gonna keep it in fire the entire time and, and treat this just like a center fire revolver as far as safety goes. As always, I've got more information about the Dan Wesson 715 replica, as well as all of the air gun dart products you saw in this video, linked in the video description. I did all of my shooting outside as much for the better light than inside, but a lot of people shoot these with darts inside. And though you will damage your wall if you miss your dartboard, a dart isn't gonna go through drywall like a pellet might. On that note, it's best to not have pellets around when you're shooting darts out of these regardless. And that combined with the fact that I recommend pulling the bushings out of the cartridges will really reduce the chance that you end up accidentally filling your dartboard with lead. Regardless of where you shoot or what you choose to shoot out of your 715, I recommend that everybody around be wearing eye protection. I did have a few darts come back at me after hitting, I don't know whether it was a staple or one of the metal wires that frames out the scoring. It wasn't really coming back at me very fast, but it was fast enough that a pokey dart could have caused permanent eye damage if it hit me. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can see the links right here. I really appreciate you watching Twangabang. And I hope to see you next time. Oh, I said dart gun, not...